Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brick Gaming. My name is VSDA and today we are doing the Life is Strange review. Uh, I just finished the completion of this <clears throat> a few days later and I decided to uh, do a review on it. I'm just going to play a random episode. Um, I think this is episode 2 uh, and I'm just going to uh, talk about the game. Uh, as I'm playing it to give you an idea. Uh, let's take down a rundown of the story now. The story, um, you play as Max Caulfield, an 18 year old girl uh, who returns to Blackwell Academy for photography and art, uh, where you meet uh, up with a punk rock chick named Chloe who is an old friend uh, before you left for the city. Uh, or I can't remember which city you, you left for, but essentially you leave and uh, five years later you return. Uh, you come back and um, there's a girl called uh, Rachel Amber um, who has basically gone missing and you also discover the you have the ability to dis um, turn back time and you try to solve this mystery of a missing girl who attended the Blackwell Academy um, and uh, the game seems to drag you down multiple timelines uh, as it were oh shit I just pushed the wrong button there what the hell did I just do I think I can get up. Oh, I see. It's giving me the chance to skip scenes. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so that is essentially it. You come back and you uh, you meet up with your old friend, and you have the ability to turn back time. Uh, Being a superhero is dirty where you basically uh, the game in itself is that you have to solve that kind of mystery, uh, and that is the uh, the actual plot of the now game uh, about what happened to this girl of Rachel Amber. Story. Uh, essentially the characters, now of course you play Max, Max Caulfield being the main character who loves to take selfies and she's kind of a good, innocent, sweet, kind, loving girl. Uh, next up you have um, Chloe who is a it's punk rock electrolytes. chick who is like the rebellious type of Bla uh, Blackwell dropout and also a pothead. You have a stepdad who is an ex-army uh, military uh, personnel and he is the security at Blackwell um, Academy, and he is also uh, oh, sorry about that. Up my uh, a stepdad as well. That's sorry, I just want to grab this. this and uh, yeah, as I said, look, you like you. This girl no likes to take selfies. Take your power seriously. <laughs> um, there's a famous teacher at Blackwell who is a photographer who, in the 1990s, who wants to help the next generation of kids. Uh, we also have another character who is. Uh, creepy Jano, who I don't trust based on based on looks and voice alone. I mean, he's pretty creepy. Oh, what do I do here? Shower supplies. Let's take this. Okay, I suppose Max. we're gonna take, um, take a shower right now. I think we can leave. Do not forget, I oh, apparently we can. Um, like now. Then you have a rich snobby kid named Nathan, yeah, uh, the Prescott, Victoria. Nathan Prescott, who owns his family, owned the town, afternoon. as it were. So on it. Consider it done. And, um, sorry. Ow! <laughs> Again, let's just give, uh, give you an example. We can rewind time and we can change that. So instead of her getting hit, Alyssa, can you stand over we can there? warn her. Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. And there you go. Just to give wow. you a, no, a prime close. example there. Thank uh, you. yeah, so this rich snobby kid named Nathan uh, Prescott, who he suffers from mental health issues and anger issues. Uh, there's a rich snobby bitch called Victoria, who we're seeing a little bit, who is the rival of our main character, or enemy, as it were. Again, we ain't got really enemies, but she seems to make herself out to be one. It's just a total fucking bitch. Um, here we have Kate, who is a soft-hearted uh, emo, I would say, in many ways. At least that's the impression I get of her. Not emo, but I know she's like a Christian girl or whatever, but she's like soft-hearted and stuff. Um... You know, hey, quite vulnerable and having a hard time at Blackwell Academy. Based on a mistake that she makes, she's Thanks a target of bullying. Uh, bullying. Uh, Victoria is also like um, someone who um, is a I'm big part of that, uh, yeah, as it were. Uh, uh, we've got a boy called I Warren who is in love with Max, pretty much. Who's like a science nerd. You know what I mean? He plays the I'm the yes, friend, but you all know what he's what he really so wants. <laughs> uh, but he's harmless in, in this particular point in time. And finally, we have Frank, who's a local drug dealer, 
uh, who is suspicious and uh, who is in a, who was in a relationship or some kind of relationship with Rachel Amber, the girl that went missing, uh, as it were. Okay, so let's get into the shower. And I am going to talk about gameplay next. Uh, to give you an idea. Okay, the gameplay is a simplistic, like a point and click uh, decision making. Where you interact with characters and make choices. Finding out things that will affect the story of the game. The main hook of this game, however, is to uh, able to change what you have said. Go back in time. I find, uh, unlike most other games though, that the changes you make are simple. Uh, it makes you think it gives you a choice. What's the outcome is not that big. In fact, cool. uh, it makes you go down a hallway. Instead of going down a path where you choose, it guides you to what it wants you to do. Uh, taking away your real choice. In fact, making your choices not matter that much, that much at all. Don't be shy. In fact, only two big choices I can think of affect anything. That's for life and death of one or two people, or but it feels that they want you to do certain things. Uh, as well. Looks like it. Uh, at the ending, there's only one of two endings that you can have. That's right. You only have two endings on a game based on choice. That's at the end, and there are no multiple outcomes. It's just like pick A and B, and I find that kind of disappointing about a game with multiple choices and stuff like that, where you're supposed to affect the game. There's only A and B, and then even then you pick them at the end of the game. You know what I mean? And that kind of sucks. I feel disappointed by that in a game that is based on choice, where... You know, there's supposed to be these outcomes, and it don't really affect it because at the She's end of the day, you're you're, you're you're gonna pick A or B. That kind of sucks. I hate that. Uh, there are games that do it better, which I will get into okay. later. The graphics are okay and decent. They're well done. No, they're not the Last of Us or Far Cry Primal, but they, that don't matter. It holds up, and I find it perfectly fine. So for me, there's no complaints there. <laughs> actors are great I feel but the voice actresses who played the parts played their parts really well and every character seems to fit in perfectly well with their uh, character that they've been portrayed as you know what I mean I don't see them as anything else no one doesn't really not fit at least in my book uh, at least that's just my opinion um, the music is fantastic I could not record the um, the music in the I game due to copyright issues that case, but, but that is that will not affect the score of this review anyway uh, it sets the mood, um, and it's a big part of the game, and it really brings the emotion and depth into a into a game, and um, it can really it, it plays a big part. I mean, if you play loads of games like I do, you know that music in itself can uh, really set the tone and uh, really give you uh, a connection to the actual game, or you know what the character is feeling at this particular uh, point in time in the story, or what have you. Wait, can I go in there? Yes. Okay, so that's the music. Um, overall, now I'm gonna go down the pros and cons of this game. Oh shit, our room got wrecked. No fucking. Uh, for me, okay, so the pros of this game. It's a good game with a decent story. The acting is good. It's got replayability as well. You can replay this game as well and go get the trophies and various stuff like that. I feel that you are gonna. Uh, hold on, search. And you are you um are gonna go and get uh, all the way through the game, get some trophies. It is an easy platinum. Uh, that is another pro of this game, at least in my opinion. I put that in there. Uh, I, so yeah, you can you can easily platinum this game, especially with a guide. Uh, the music is good. Again, as I said, it sets a, the uh, mood of the game, and it's quite powerful. Decent music. Um, again, in my playthrough, you cannot thing it, but I won't worry about that if you're gonna play the game no anyway. Here. Because you'll get that. So my playthrough, if you don't watch it, you, you know, if you pick this up, you hear all the music. Um, also, there there is a great plot twist. I'm not going to say anything about the plot twist, but I'm ha I was very surprised and did not suspect anything about this so-called plot twist or what have you. But it, it really got me, and I uh, I was really sorry amazed by it. All right, we're just picking up all that stuff. Um, and it was just really enjoyable. I, I couldn't believe, like, you know, what the ending was. Uh, or what the, you know, scenario was at the ending. But anyway, I'm not going to go too much into detail of that. Because I don't want to spoil it for you. I'll let you sit there and play it. Um, shit, what the hell am I doing? My desk is a pigsty, but I Sorry. know it ain't there. I've got to look for Kate's paper. Hold on. Her book. Oh, shit. She just spilled soda on Kate's book. 
Hold on, let me it's just uh, pick just this up and then I will. Needs the book and I so here's another example the of the uh, rewind time. Okay. Wait, can I move that? Nope. Didn't go far back enough. Right, now move it. Gone, okay. Alright, now the cons of this game, and there are more cons than pros, there is no real choice, or they don't they don't matter as much as you'd think. Uh, there is only two endings. Now, uh, they could have uh, made you play a different You're role. Uh, so the first playthrough, uh, playthrough would have been as your Max, your sweet girl. Uh, in the second playthrough, you might have been a skater chick, a science nerd, or even a snobby bitch. But it touches on this, it doesn't uh, go all the way. And it just shows you what could have been, basically. And that kind of sucks. Hold on, let's get... We need to get dressed, right? Right, here we are. Um, Maybe I'll just put on a yeah, so it only touches on those I things, and other games uh, do it a lot eat. better, I would say. Um, it just don't do enough to push it all the way for me, and there, um, and more, there are better games with more now powerful choices and outcomes. Um, As if I have to in conclusion, to though, have uh, a I'm going to give this game a score out of 10 like I normally do. Uh, I do recommend this game for anyone, and at full price at £25, it is a steal. Um, sorry, I just want to hop along here and give Fingy a book back. Uh, it is a still, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, with an insane Brit approval. It could have had an 8 or 9, uh, but with the likes of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, uh, they do it a lot better, and if you love Life is Strange, go out and buy those, you won't regret, um... Picking uh, the, either of those two games up. And uh, that basically concludes this review. Uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you uh, on the next uh, review. Or on my new gameplay. Which I will be starting um, this week. Uh, please check out my Doom uh, playthrough as well of the beta. And I will see you next time. Oh and don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook as well. That will be in a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.